Hello everyone, this is Marlon Carter with God's Prayer Line. And uh, God's Prayer Line with Marlon Carter, that's me. And uh, I was led to do this short video today. And uh, sometimes we get discouraged because of what people might say or what people might think about us or what people might think about you. And uh, I come to let you know that if you're striving to please God, if you you are striving to do the will of God, and you you falter, you fail, you you even sin, but you 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 gotten back up, and you're striving to do His will. Don't get hung up on the past things that you have done. Just know that God is a forgiving God, and He knows all about you. He knows the intent of your heart and uh, uh, we tend to uh, go back to the traditional ways of preaching and think and, and teaching and 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 if we are not careful we will run souls away from God instead of bringing them in by calling ourselves fruit inspectors which you are not actually a fruit inspector. The word says that you will know the tree by the fruit it bears, but, but you are still not to be one that judge another person. That word, I'm just a fruit inspector is, is more or less, uh, putting you in the position to say that I'm judging you, of, uh, of for what you do or, uh, for for your action, but God is the one that judges you, and He's the one that uh, will come to your aid in the time of need. When you, in the very presence of needing His help the most, then He will come to your aid if you surrender yourself to Him. Now, I've been reading in the uh, book of Samuel, the first uh, book of Samuel, and and I saw where God had allowed Israel to uh, have a king like the pagan nations. And and uh, he used Samuel. Uh, Samuel grew up in the ministry of the temple uh, from a childhood on up uh, after his mother Hannah had took him there to be raised under the priest uh, 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 Eli, the high priest Eli. And uh, Samuel had grown up, and God used him to anoint Samuel, I mean Saul, for king, because Israel wanted a king. But it's really not the one, not the one that God wanted uh, to be over his people, but God uh, anointing him because uh, he... Uh, was uh, giving the children of Israel what they asked for. And he had warned them what would happen if they got a king. God wanted to be their king. They, he was going to allow someone to be over them as king uh, when he got ready, but just because they asked, he allowed them to have a king, even with the warning that he, he gave through Samuel. So here we are with Saul being king after being anointed. God gave him a command to go over into the nation of Amalek. And this is where the Amalekite dwells. And he was instructed by Samuel, through Samuel, by God. And God told him to go over there and, and kill up everything. The, even the infants, all the people and the infants just wipe the nation out. They are the ones that uh, tried to stop Israel when God brought them out of uh, of Egypt. But I'm going to skip through the whole story because God had rejected Saul because God had told him to destroy everything in the land of Amalek and uh, uh don't bring nothing back. And, and and Saul did just the opposite of what God had told him to do. He went over there and he took all the good stuff and he destroyed all the bad stuff. He spoiled the land. And uh, also the sheep, the good sheep and the oxen, he brought them back. And he even brought 
back King uh, Agag. And uh, God was not happy with this. Sometimes we get in self and we want to do what we want to do instead of what God wants us to do. Then we get ourselves in trouble. It won't uh, end up the way you expect it to end up because God is not in it. It was you all the time. So God allowed uh, uh, Samuel to go. He didn't allow. He instructed him to go and uh, give uh, Saul words that he had rejected him because of his disobedience. So uh, it hurt Samuel too. It hurt him very much so. And 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 uh, he was mourning for Saul, and 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 God asked him. He said, "How long are you going to mourn mourn for Saul? I have rejected him. Go down to Bethlehem, uh, and uh, find the uh, the man named Jesse, and I have selected a, uh, one of his sons to be my king. So so you know when people look on." You and, and, and think that, yeah, you're the one, you that almighty preacher, you that almighty, uh, prophetess, you are that almighty that God sent. Because they are looking at the outer appearance. They are listen, listening at the ex- extravagant words they use. But have you searched them through the spirit? Now, we gonna have in these days false preachers, false teachers, false prophets, and that day is here. When you look up on man and, 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 and feel like that you can judge him by the words he say about the way he dress or the way he carry himself, is God truly with him? But those that are chosen by God, you're going to know them as you were saying, or as I was saying before, by their actions, by their deeds, about They're surrendering themselves to God. I'm not trying to contradict myself, but you have to try the spirit to know uh, if it's of God or not. The spirit will give you that spirit of discernment. But anyway, uh, uh, Samuel looked up on, he went down to Jesse's house and he, the sons passed through and uh, he just knew just let me, let me read this. Let me read this. Just know that God knows your heart. And he's a uh, man is looking on the outer appearance. Be careful because that very person that you may point the finger out and feel like he's lost because you see him doing certain things. You be careful how you look on that person because God is truly looking at that man's heart. And who are we to say that he's lost because I saw him with the fifth of wine, because I saw him go to the drug house. Be careful because you don't know where that man stand with God. Yeah, we can do from what we've been studying, from what we've been taught. Those things are known sins, getting drunk with wine and uh, going to prostitutes' house or fornicating or adultery. Those are known sins. But who's to say that person is not seeking to come out of that situation? Who's to say that he has not surrendered his heart to God and at the moment at, at a moment of time, God is bringing him out, but allowing him a period. Who are we to say? Let me read you this right quick. Now the Lord said to Samuel, you have mourned long enough for Saul. I have rejected him as king of Israel. So fill your flax uh, with olive oil and go to Bethlehem. Find, uh, find a man named Jesse who lives there. For I have selected one of his sons to be my king. But Samuel asked, how can I do that? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. Take a heifer with you, the Lord replied, and say that you have come to uh, make a sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you which of the sons to anoint for him for me. So Samuel did as the Lord instructed. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town came trembling to meet him. What's wrong? they asked. Do you come in peace? Yes, Samuel replied. 
I have come to sacrifice the Lord. Purify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then Samuel performed the purification uh, rite for Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice too. When they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab and thought, Surely this is the Lord's anointed. That's Samuel's oldest son. I mean, uh, Jesse's oldest son. But the Lord said to, to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance of height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Praise God. The very words that I was saying. At this time, uh, uh, little David was, uh, uh, was about to be anointed by Samuel to be the king over Israel because he was God's chosen. And, uh, but the point of it is, man looketh on the outer appearance, but God looketh on the heart. You all be encouraged. Don't let words from other people cause you to stop falling or striving to please God because of what they have seen you do or what you have done. You keep on striving to please God. Keep on striving to delight yourself in his will. Get in to the word of God study for yourself to know and if you want to know the Bible say you will know the truth and the truth shall set, shall set you free so you know you can be set free from your habits from your wrongdoing you can start following up within the will of God through the very word of God Heavenly Father we thank you today we thank you dear God for this time that you have allowed me to uh, elaborate on your word. Oh, Father, help those that are listening to me at this moment. And God, help them to surrender their whole hearts to you because you're looking on the heart of man and you know who are sincere and who's not sincere. Father, bless the ones that are struggling to come out of their habits and their situations dear God and give them strength dear God and help them to uplift their heads and know that you are God and you have the power to deliver them from anything and don't let them go by what man say allow them to go by what you say through your word let them know that you looking on their heart no matter what man say because of what uh, how they look at them Lord, let them know that they can be set free because you see them crying out to you. You see their heart's des desire or determination is to surrender your, their, their selves to you. And no matter what they are doing, dear God, if they truly want to serve you, deliver them today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Bless every pastor, every teacher, every preacher. God bless every prophetess, every evangelist, the one that's carrying your word and holding up the bloodstained banner because we do believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. You all have a good day or night. Hopefully you've gotten something out of these short words that I've spoke. My name is Marlon Carter with God's Prayer Line with Marlon Carter. Can we pray for you? Will you pray for me? Let's pray for each other. God bless. Bye-bye.